at the end of the day, it's all about freedom. And now we're at this point where the, the government has gotten so big that there's, it's not working on every end. And everyone sees the failure. And everyone's disgusted. And everyone sees that this is just bought and paid for by the corporations. Whether it's on Bernie Sanders' side or on Ron Paul's side or on Donald Trump's side or whatever. It's like everyone except fucking Hillary Clinton's people basically sees that this is a huge fucking problem. And they're not working for us. This is all a, a phony bought and paid for bullshit system. And by the way, the government does more than ever. And it's now it's it's gotten so big that they've rigged it to the point that it just keeps expanding naturally. You don't even have to do anything anymore and it'll just keep expanding. So every year we're spending more money just without even passing a law. And now they want to say, oh, you know, the problem is that these guys won't get together and uh, and make a deal. You know, back in the day, these guys always used to, to want to get together and make a deal. Back in the day, Republicans liked things like Obamacare. You know, and then they'll, they'll use that as a, that's how this country's moved so far uh, to the right that, that a, a Republican idea is considered socialist. And you're like, no, dummy. Th this country hasn't moved anywhere. Obamacare used to just be an idea. Now it's the fucking law of the land. We've moved in the Obamacare direction, not the other one. The problem is the fucking people are waking up and Republicans are scared shitless to get their name attached to Obamacare. That's the difference. Mitt Romney, Bob Dole, John McCain, fucking uh, Boehner, and, and uh, uh, fucking, uh, what, what's his name, Paul Ryan. These motherfuckers will vote for Obamacare in a second. They don't give a fuck. They don't want to loot. They don't want their people to vote them out. So they got to pretend to be against it because the people are fucking starting to wake up to this shit. So that's the pressure. But they sit there and tell you it's like, oh, it's this divided government. There's no divided government. They just want – they are just worried about getting voted out. When the Patriot Act expired, they came right together. Like an hour later, we had a new one. An hour later. All these people who hate each other. The military-industrial complex wants something. Done. That's done. No problem. Okay? And even Trump sees it now, right? Uh, Trump's in there. You watch him already. Like, uh, when, when, What you don't want is them to come together and do something. What you get with that is more big government. It's even Trump's in there now, and he's like, man, I couldn't get this health care bill uh, repealed. Huh? Think about that. It wasn't popular. It was impossible to repeal an entitlement program. Shocking. And then you go, uh, oh, you know what? It might be really tough to cut taxes, too. So he floated out this idea. Maybe he'll just go work with Democrats on a, a, an infrastructure spending plan. <laughs> right? Isn't that just it right there? It's like, huh, so weird. Government doesn't really work to repeal a thing or to cut your taxes. Oh, but to spend a trillion dollars more of your money, that should be pretty easy to raise the votes. Well, that's the big problem, and that's where we're going. Don't believe it. They shouldn't be working together. All right, I got to go co-host Red Eye.